have evolved from 2016 with eight member organizations to 130 in 2020 and counting. We have as our values um, the position of doing business in a socially responsible and ethical manner in accordance with the UK Bribery Act 2010 because essentially we were established to promote bilateral trade between the UK and Ghana. And so we do this with the best of the UK and the best in Ghana. Um, our mission is to deliver a self-sustaining uh, platform for all our members uh, because we are a trade association and we are made up of member companies. And so we um, deliver this through a self-sustaining platform for our members so that they can market their businesses and obtain essential information about the business environment of both the UK and Ghana. So for businesses from the UK who would like to do business in Ghana, we are the reference point for you. And also for businesses in Ghana who would like to do business in the UK, we are the reference point for you. Um, uh, we have certain partners that we interact with. So like I mentioned earlier on, we work very closely with the British High Commission in Ghana, and that would be DIT and then also DFID. And we also work closely with the government of the UK and the government of Ghana through the, Ghana, the UK Ghana Business Council. And we have also partner associations like the Association of Ghana Industries. We also partner with Invest in Africa. You hear from them after me and a few others. So essentially, um, any sort of stakeholder that as a UK business coming into Ghana you'd like to engage with, we are able to um, connect you to them. We offer um, membership, like I mentioned before, and we have three categories of membership. We have platinum, we have sterling, we have bronze, and they come at different rates. And of course, if you're a UK company, you're allowed to pay in pounds sterling, but um, if you're a Ghanaian business, you can pay us the Ghana CD equivalent. Our services, essentially, are we offer networking, we offer advocacy, and we offer trade services. When I talk about networking, we offer regular events, a minimum of one a month, where our members can engage with each other and do business with each other. We also offer um, capacity building programs and also round table discussions, breakfast meetings, um, depending upon what is topical or relevant to our members at any given time. We would bring in whoever you need to engage with. So we've brought in like representatives from the Ghana Revenue Authority for such um, engagements. Um, if you need to engage with, say, the Ghana Standards Authority, we would invite the CEO and you can have sort of a roundtable discussion with him under Chatham House rules. There's no media, there's nobody. You can be frank in your discussions. We um, do lobbying as part of our advocacy services. So where our member companies are facing challenges in progressing their businesses, we are quite happy to take up the conversations on their behalf and then move the process forward for them. We've had quite a number of successes over the years and we have some of our member companies represented here and I'm sure they'll be happy to provide you with testimonials if you're considering joining us. We also provide trade services, as I mentioned before, if you need due diligence on a potential business partner, we are happy to do that for you either way, whether it's in the UK or in Ghana. Um, if you need your business registered in Ghana and you don't have a physical presence, we are happy to offer representation services. Um, any other sort of um, due diligence you require, we are able to do it. If you need um, to be introduced to potential customers as well, we've done that in the past and we are good at doing it. So we've had like um, sectors, specific sectors like um, beef, pork, um, lamp exporters from the UK, for example, that we've hosted in Ghana and tried to match them with customers from Ghana. We've had um, other sectors that have reached out to us 
and said um, in Ghana and said that we are interested in exporting to Ghana and we're able to provide them with guidelines. We have member companies that export to um, the UK from Ghana and they have concerns about Brexit and we've been able to organize roundtable discussions for them to understand what's going to happen if there's a hard Brexit and the implications for them if um, because they've been concerned about losing the tariffs under the um, economic partnership agreements with Europe. So these are the sort of services that we provide under trade services. Um, our competitive advantage, why should you join the UK Ghana Chamber of Commerce? Um, we offer you value for money because um, you pay your membership dues and we would provide you the services that will cost you an arm and a leg if you use a consultant. Once you're a member, some of these services will be offered to you for free, depending upon your category of membership. Um, we are seen as an organization with good access to the UK government and also the Ghana government, as I mentioned before. Um, we actually sit within the British High Commission in Accra, so we work very closely with DIT and also with DFID. And we are also um, part of the UK Ghana Business Council, which is a government to government level engagement. And we are represented by our board chairman. So, whatever issues are affecting our members get the highest level of attention for both, uh, from both the UK government angle and also the Ghana government angle. Um, we offer operational excellence as well. Um, when we commit to doing something, we keep our word and um, essentially um, once you are a member of our company, sorry, our association, we go to the greatest length to ensure that we can keep your membership. So if there's anybody here that's interested in speaking to us further, I'm here today and tomorrow. And my colleague Jennifer is also here. She's sitting somewhere over there. Yeah, and you can come to us and talk to us and we'll tell you more about joining our chamber. Thank you.